My mom's a nurse and I've always felt that I've carried that um, caring trait and I want to provide the best care to the patients that they possibly can and I feel that I can do that. I like advocating for my patients and I love teaching them and educating them. We actually did the math, ran the numbers and it turned out that being able to start out actually nursing it would be at least a year earlier than if I had gone with an associate's through a tech school and then gone on um, somewhere else for a one-year BSN program. It's going to be a lot more cost-effective to do that. What is unique about our program is that students graduate in three years instead of four. So if you know that you want to be a nurse and you know that that's really what you want to do and you want to get out there and practice it as soon as possible, I think our program really suits the needs of those types of individuals. Basically, the progression of the program is we really start you with the fundamentals. How do you take blood pressures? How do you take your basic vital signs? How do you talk to your patients and other team members, healthcare team members? And then we move you through um, the basic medical, surgical uh, courses into the specialty courses. So the lab starts um, along with your nursing classes that you start with. Um, it kind of corresponds to what you're learning in lectures. And then also you can use those skills um, at your clinicals that you start right away. Our instructors are awesome. They are organized, they're professional, and they all have um, some sort of nursing background and actually all of their background is different. So we try to really employ our faculty where their specialties lie to give the students the most real-world experiences as possible. The big difference is the class sizes. Uh, we are all going through it together. Uh, the cohort program is just, it's too cool. We have like 30 people so it's not too big or too small. It's really cool to go through the core classes together too, like the anatomy and physiology, um, because we've all been there and had that same experience with those same classes, so we all have the same core knowledge coming into our next classes. I like the support that we give each other the most. I mean, we're all here to help each other out in the ultimate goal of graduating together. Uh, I know a lot of schools are starting to use simulation labs in their program. We have a lab here on campus, but we also contract out with a high fidelity simulation lab at Regents Hospital. In the lab, we set up uh, scenarios based on critical care patients and students in teams of three work to manage that patient and whatever might arise. So students will take care of patients that are intubated and on a ventilator. They'll take care of patients that have uh, intracranial pressure drains in place and monitoring. Um, they have patients that experience a cardiac arrest or a respiratory arrest and they have to respond to that and manage the medication administration, manage the documentation, manage the communication that happens in those types of situations. And students really progress in the eight weeks that they're there from what they, they start out doing to what they uh, end up doing at the very end. Because that lab has been so successful, we're now starting to use it in our specialty courses as well. So we go to the simulation lab for mental health, we go there for OB, we go there for pediatrics, just so we make sure we're capturing the most important things about these specialties and allowing all students the opportunity to experience some of these skills where they may or may not experience them in a clinical setting depending on their patient. Uh, once they graduate from our program, they are eligible to take the NCLEX exam. So prior to graduation is where a lot of that preparation for that exam is done. We use an NCLEX prep program called ATI in our curriculum and we really weave it through our entire curriculum. So they start doing ATI an NCLEX prep in their first semester of the nursing program and we continue it throughout the program. Now I think students that typically do well in our program are students that are motivated. What drives that motivation is the underlying need to want to help people, to want to help their patients or their community and if that's there we can usually help you with the rest.